Okay guys, welcome back to the layout. And today we're going to be looking at CV values uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And these values control the voltage and the momentum of the Digitrax decoder. And it will affect your locomotive's performance as well as give you guys some ideas on how to do some speed matching with a Digitrax decoder. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to give this guy some juice and this may be a good speed, this may not be a good speed, I'll show you how to change that, but look how jumpy it is. You know, we're giving you know, throttle various different speeds, now you can compensate that a little bit by creeping it up, but there's another way of taking care of this. What we're going to look at first is our momentum of the locomotive. And this is done by changing CVs 3 and CV4. Now CV3 changes the momentum or how fast or how slow the locomotive picks up speed when accelerating and CV4 when it decelerates. So we'll change 3 first. And I usually start mine with a value of about 40. Uh, there is no right or wrong. And I'm hit the enter key here. And I'll hear the locomotive click and it'll tell you that it was good. And I'll do the same with 4. We'll make that a value of 40 as well. And again, notice the locomotive when I hit the enter key. It'll click and move up like that. So once you change those two values, and it's really that simple, we'll exit out of this. And now, we'll notice when I crank this thing up, how fast or how slow the locomotive moves. And even when picking it up a notch. And the same with deceleration. Let's change that value to something outrageous like 100. And we'll go again to program. And I'll change CV3 to this outrageously high value which will take it forever to pick up speed but just to give you guys an example of how this works and I'll hit enter okay red is good I'll exit and now let's notice how the locomotive picks up speed even if we're hanging this thing all the way up This may be what you're looking for, it may not be. Now you can adjust CVs 3 and 4 independently. They do not have to be the same value. If you don't want to have to take that long to stop, instead of doing a value of 40, you can maybe do a value of 20 or a value of 10, whatever seems to work for you. Okay, if you look at any of your Digitrax decoder manuals, you will probably see this table uh, somewhere in there. Uh, this table is the simple three-step method which I'm showing today. It has a voltage for when the locomotive starts, at midpoint, and at the high end. There is also a 28-step table that can be used, um, but I'm not going to show it this time. I'm just going to keep it simple and use this three-step table. You can use this for most of if not all of your locomotives. It's not perfect, but it uh, does a pretty good job of, of doing some speed matching in a, in a simple form and, and not getting too complicated with it. I'm going to put this at speed, top, speed step one. Excuse me, wrong one there. And although it starts off nice and slow, with the momentum, 
speed step one is probably too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the start voltage or CV2 to a lower value to compensate for that. Now they give you a few examples which are good starting points to change them. Uh, again, there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. Set it to where you're comfortable doing it and go from there and you can make adjustments from there. Again, we will hit program and speed, I'm sorry, CV2. I want to make a value of 1 to start and we'll enter that and I will exit and now notice the difference on speed table 1 here. considerably slower from where it was before. Okay, what I've done is I've changed values for CV2, 5, and 6, and I'll show you what I got here as I increase the throttle. One is the author that we've been working on and the other is a coddle. It's not quite perfect, but they're, they're reasonably matched. I'll probably do a little more tweaking with it. Now what I've done with this example is for CVs 2, 5, and 6, I made them these values. As you saw before, it wasn't perfect, but it was a lot closer than it was without changing these values, and I'll probably continue to tweak them a little bit. Start voltage at 2, mid voltage at 110 and max or end voltage at 75. And again I can change this or tweak this until I got it right. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys, this is nothing more than trial and error in setting these. The best way to do it is really how I had it. You put the two locomotives next to each other on your track or side by side, either way is okay. And you either run them as a MU or multiple unit, or you can operate them both with both throttles. Either way is okay. Let me turn this around. And by changing these values, you can speed match your locomotives. You get them to where you like them. Uh, honestly, you'll, you may never get them perfect, but you'll get them so close that you'll never know the difference. And when you end up putting them together, they will run very smoothly. You won't get that push and pull. Okay guys, well there you have it for part 4C. To review, we changed CVs 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. CVs 2, 5, and 6 were the voltage for the locomotive from start, mid, and, and high end, or max. And CVs 3 and 4 were for your momentum. And hopefully very soon, we'll be getting to adding sound to the author. And we'll see you soon.